Good evening. Welcome to Jam Time. I'm Pastor Lisa. We're glad you're here with us tonight. And um, we continue on with our Lenten journey. Jesus, I want to follow you. And so um, this week, the third Sunday of Lent, um, our scripture is Stop Making My Father's House a Marketplace, John 2.16. And so the focus of this week is how do we follow Jesus um, with that scripture, stop making my father's house a marketplace. And we're going to be looking at that, that in, in a couple ways. But first, before we do that, we're going to do um, start just our science experiment. And um, because when we think about a marketplace, we know that, um, that, that they were selling um, animals for a sacrifice because that was their tradition and they were cheating people um, as they did that and so we think about so we have money so I have some coins and we're gonna decide or guess and while I'm doing this oh, here we go here's I'm gonna need some napkins to clean but I have those right here um, we're gonna put some pennies in some cups I'm gonna uh, put in and there put two in an extra and we're going to guess, and I want you to make a hypothesis, that's a guess, of which um, substance will clean the, the pennies the best. So we're going to let them soak a few minutes and we'll talk about our scripture a little bit. So first we're going to put in our water. Okay, we know that we take a bath in water and that gets us clean. So let's see how clean it gets the uh, copper penny. We're going to put in some Gatorade. has some good sugar in maybe that'll help to soften up the the coins um, let's see have some apple cider vinegar so we'll see how that works I don't know apples are kind of sticky so not sure let's see and then I know it's sometimes you have problems you put a coke on so we're gonna try a little bit of Coke Zero here. See if that how that works on it. And ketchup. See how ketchup cleans it. All right. So make a hypothesis of which one you think will clean the penny the best. You want to make a guess, Rich? What do you think? Um, the vinegar. Okay, the apple cider vinegar. So we'll hold that in mind and see what you all think too and see what happens. So as we take up our cross, um, this week we're going to focus on helping um, because we're reminded of the money. And I'm going to read our scripture now while we let our coins just kind of soak a few minutes. It was almost time for the fest Passover festival, so Jesus went to Jerusalem. And there in the temple he found people selling cattle and sheep and pigeons, and also the money changers sitting at their tables. So he made a whip from cords and drove all the animals out of the temple, both the sheep and the cattle, and he overturned the tables of the money changers and scattered their coins. He ordered those who sold pigeons to take them out of here, stop making my father's house, a marketplace. So we think about things that we could do with money. Um, one of the things that we can do with money is we can buy stuff for ourselves. So is there anything that you really want, and um, and is that and what you want to spend your money on? Our Lego creation today, tonight I mean, because it is night, but um, is a piggy bank. So I made a Lego piggy bank. And you know you can make a, an easy Lego bank if you just make it square. And I put a hole in the top. And obviously when you want to empty it, you just you know undo it and put it back. So it makes it really cool. You can make some a really cool Le um, Lego bank for you to put some money in. So I'm going to put my money in. So the question is then, what kind of things can you buy with your money? You can save up for something you really want. Whereas we read on our calendar, our Lent calendar here, it says um, maybe uh, special ways of giving or helping is um, 
maybe collecting food or, or taking your clothes that you don't wear and giving them to somebody who could use them. Same with your toys. Toys that you don't use anymore, you can take them to a shelter or somewhere where people really could use some, some toys. Um, help make some cookies for someone who's lonely or might just need something special. Um, we can raise money. This week in church we're collecting uh, money in our One Great Hour sharing boxes. And that will be going to help people around the world to get things like water and other things that they need. So you can save money and give to a charity, something like that. Um, so, and, and on tonight's, on Wednesday, it says, if you had $10 to help someone, how would you use it? And then it says, start saving. So if you save some money, then decide, what am I going to use this money on to help someone? So... Um, Think about following Jesus then this week as we focus on is helping people, helping someone. All right, so here's the, so we have our, our coins. And first of all, you know, they're, they're copper and pennies get dark and dingy. So what happens is, is it's actually copper oxide. The oxygen in the atmosphere has a negative uh, charge and it's, um, and the cop and the, it's attracted to the positive charge of the copper and then it, then it turns it a dark color. And that's why they, we start out with shiny pennies and they get darker. So we clean it, it's not really just rubbing it off, it's actually a chemical reaction. So um, we're gonna see which of these broke down the chemical reaction the best. So here's our penny in water. I'm gonna clean that. Um, still looks pretty dirty on the back. So I don't think it did a whole lot. Um, this one had two in. This is the Gatorade. Okay, did a little bit, but that one wasn't very dirty. This is the dirty one. So let's see if that changed much. Uh, a little bit, but not a whole lot. This, these ones are in the, the apple cider, apple cider vinegar. Let me get another napkin here. And some of that's coming off. So that, um... If I left it in a little bit more, it, the black is definitely coming off here. So I think Rich made a pretty good choice here that, that the apple cider vinegar is um, getting off some of the darkness and on the petties. And like I said, if we left them in overnight, they'd probably be, be nice, nicer and cleaner. And here's the Coke Zero. Um, not sure that it did a whole lot. And now, hmm, the ketchup. Because it only got one side on, I should have. All right, let's see the ketchup. It's getting some of the, definitely getting some of the dark off, some of the black off. Now, so it looks like the two that worked the best was the apple cider vinegar and the ketchup. Well, do you know what's in ketchup? Well, two things that help to break down the, the, the darkness of the penny and to make them more shiny is um, vinegar, because it's an acid, and when it's combined with salt, the salt speeds up the action of the vinegar. So if we maybe put some, some salt in this apple cider vinegar, it would make them shinier. Ketchup happens to have both vinegar and salt in. So those, that's why these two um, break up um, and have the most chemical reaction on the, on the pennies. So if you want to work clean and get some pennies shiny, put them in some salty vinegar water or some ketchup. Leave them overnight and see what happens um, and see if yours turns shiny again. 
So this kind of reminds us that when we're helping others, we're our light. We're shining. We're, our light is shining for Jesus um, when we're helping others. So tonight, um, on our Lenten chain, that we have forgiveness, and then we have sharing because we're going to share about Jesus and um, and believing because we're going to believe in Jesus. And tonight we add helping because we're following Jesus when we're helping others. So we're continuing on on our Lenten journey, as you can tell by our chain. So thanks for joining me this week, and I hope um, in the days to come that you'll uh, maybe try cleaning some pennies, but better yet, try helping others, and that's a great way to follow Jesus. Let us pray. You know, please repeat after me. Dear Jesus, show me ways to help others. When others help me, please remind me to say thank you. Amen. Thank you all. Have a great night.